People make mistakes, it happens. But today in this video, I'm gonna go over five times Roblox YouTubers messed up their careers badly with their own mistakes. Let's get into the video. Welcome back to Roblox Album. Number five, good riddance. I think everyone can agree that clickbait channels are the absolute worst. Within the Roblox community, there are plenty of such YouTubers who upload misleading titles, often falsely promising their viewers free Robux. Considering this is against the site's terms of service, it doesn't surprise us when YouTube takes action and permanently deletes these accounts. This is exactly what happened with the infamous channel Supremacy, which, to be honest, came as pretty good news to the rest of the community. However, a lot of people don't know that clickbait titles weren't the only reason behind his channel's deletion. He's also been quite notorious for sending false copyright claims to other YouTubers, which is quite literally illegal. At the end of the day, his termination was anticipated by many, and we can only hope that YouTube takes such action against more accounts like these, in order to clear out all the scammy, contemptible personalities from the Roblox community. Go to the site and get your Robux promo code. All you guys gotta do for me here, which is actually pretty simple. Now, this can work on your laptop, your- Number 4, YouTube Feuds. Lisa Gaming Roblox is a relatively small Roblox YouTuber who's found herself in some big feuds on the platform. Unlike the other channels on this list, she hasn't done anything illegal or unlawful per se. Rather, she's been under the fire for being an all-around toxic personality who constantly creates needless trouble for other big YouTubers. Earlier this year, she uploaded a video titled I Got Banned on Bloxburg, which Kaneko Kitten happened to make a reaction video to. Though Kaneko's video was all in good fun, she turned it into quite a scene by actually threatening to sue him for being rude. Obviously, this sourced her reputation amongst fans and resulted in a lot of backlash. She was also involved in some hot water with YouTuber Lofi after she was suspected of striking his channel with a false copyright claim. Her controversial behavior has resulted in her being banned at the Roblox award show game, where she called the winner an unkind word which you'd rather not say. It's safe to say she's garnered a fair bit of hatred, the likes of which have permanently damaged her channel's reputation. scamming her own fans it's one thing to scam other people on roblox but to scam your own fans that's a new low youtuber lineic had his career muddled with controversies after consistently stealing content from other youtubers mostly being Kaneko kitten and shark blocks however he still managed to rack up a huge fan base while doing so but the russian robloxian went a little too far when he decided to double cross a subscriber of his during a trade you see it's a common practice for lin to ask his fans for an item to borrow so he could flex it on his channel and show it off as his own it's a questionable act, but it's what his channel is centered around. The real controversy came when he borrowed rare items from one particular fan and decided not to return it. This was bound to have repercussions as he ended up getting banned from Roblox and losing a lot of subscribers in the process. Lesson learned, we hope. Number two, criminal purchases. YouTuber I'm Sandra is a prime example of a YouTuber who botched their early career beyond repair. She had always been a massively controversial figure as audiences have long been accusing her of being involved in the illegitimate buying and selling of Roblox items using actual currency, something which clearly contradicts Roblox's terms and conditions. Roblox eventually caught on to her behavior and ended up dishing out a permanent ban to her account. This also dealt a massive blow to her YouTube channel as she no longer had any content to upload and began rapidly losing subscribers. She tried to redeem herself by constantly denying any wrongdoing and making new Roblox accounts. However, these new accounts have also been subsequently banned, as no one's really believing anything she says. The latest profile seems to have survived a few days, we think it's only a matter of time before it also finds itself deleted. Apart from all this, she's received a fair amount of criticism for alleged racism, which is something the online community does not tolerate whatsoever. That all adds up to a whole lot of controversy for one YouTuber, which seems to have damaged her channel for good. <laughs> Number one, not so child friendly. Perhaps the most recent Roblox channel which found itself in hot water is Dazzly. This particular YouTuber was caught for doing something no one likes, encouraging and propagating inappropriate content on Roblox. His main uploads were focused upon improper games in the app, and were quite surprised that no one had called him out for his behavior before. On an entertaining, fun, kid friendly game such as Roblox, it's incredibly saddening to see some people go out there just to ruin the entire experience for everyone. Still, better late than never, as we're glad he's finally been exposed for his behavior. He's consequently had his Roblox account completely banned, so we don't think we're going to see him upload the same videos anytime soon. I don't, what the what? Hey, Manka S, bro, what? How is he doing so much damage? I don't understand. No, oh, 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 oh. oh, wait! The this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.